You want to exercise your freedom on the world, but you don't want to exercise it on yourself. Oh, you'll shut the world down for telling you what you can't do, but you won't say nothing to you when you don't do what you're supposed to do. You're not getting up when you're supposed to get up. You procrastinate, but you let you slide. You want to hold them accountable? Hold yourself accountable too. You always want to blame other people. You want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. There are things you like, you have absolutely no control. You are like a slave to you. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? And you need to get rid of them excuses and you need to stop pointing fingers at people. And you need to start pointing fingers at yourself. What did you not do? And the reason why we fast from time to time is not that we have to fast, but at some point you gotta fast because you gotta tell the flesh who's in control. I'm in control, you're not in control. I know you don't wanna wake up. You don't have an option. Get up. We trying to eat. There's a certain lifestyle we want. Cause I owe it to myself. And can't nobody stop me but me. You are not where you wanna be, not because you need any more gifts. You need to discipline yourself. You need to learn to tell you no, tell you stop, tell you quit. You gotta get to a point where you're disciplined. It might require you saying no to your friends. It might require you changing your diet. Whatever it takes, you gotta be willing to do it. And you keep saying you're not there because of something else, because it's easier to blame somebody else. I have to take complete ownership. I had to look at all the things that I didn't have control over and say, I gotta take control. Why? When you master yourself, you put yourself in a position that a lot of people can't do what you do, and then you become rare, and diamonds are rare. That's why they cost so much. You have to be willing to grit it out. You have to be willing to push through discomfort. Nothing that you're about to try or do that is worthwhile is going to be comfortable for you during the process of creating it. Stop with this hope, sh stop with this I wish, and start replacing those terms with I will fucking do no matter what. It's a lifestyle. Instead of hitting that f***ing snooze button in the f***ing morning and not making your bed and not cleaning your house, you don't hit the snooze button. You get up. You don't want to go run? You go run. You don't want to go swim? You go swim. You don't want to make your bed? You make your bed. You don't want to clean your house? You clean your house. You don't want to study? You f***ing study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's going to suck. It's not going to be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. Make every day your masterpiece. The secret of your success is determined by what we do daily. And here's the crazy part. All you gotta do is look in the mirror. All you gotta do is deal with yourself and then we're gonna get to a whole other level. Embrace the pressure. Pressure creates diamonds. Start to take the pressure that you feel from what it is you want to do and turn that into productive action. Let it be the thing that makes you get where you want to go when everybody else is just taking it easy. No more playing after today. I need you to take control over every single area and we're going to do it one day at a time and you're going to get control and then someday going to be your day. There is nothing in your life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Does it come to you? You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day. Which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never gonna feel like it. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't wanna do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be and you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. So I just need you to think about three people in your family that you love, three people. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. You have some days where you just wanna hit the snooze button, raise your hand for me, you wanna hit the snooze button. So watch this, this is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you gotta think about, right, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. When you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunt, when you think about those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say, E.T., sleep is better than that. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is, you get up every morning at four o'clock and you suffer. That became my new life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. 
These test days, they test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. Your mind is a weapon and you got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the task, the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's an opportunity to prove that you're a winner. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad motherfucker, you actually believe it. That's the importance of passing these tests. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing shit but then going and kicking ass anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do sh when you feel like doing sh but they also understand that the real magic, the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something, but your mind tells you, f you, I'm gonna do this sh anyway, and does it. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money, they earn the life, they earn the relationship, they earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions thrive on. And you don't get here by quitting when you tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. There is not a day that I wake up that I don't feel like going back to sleep.
sacrifice, the path of discipline, humility, and ownership that ultimately leads to freedom. It won't be easy. It will demand everything you've got to give, but you can do it. Discipline equals freedom. That's not a contradiction. It's an equation. Discipline is the path to freedom. Discipline is the driver of daily execution. Discipline defeats the infinite excuses that hold you back. Make discipline part of your daily life and your daily life will get better.